All right, folks. This is the Gamer Nerd, and welcome to Let's Play a PC Building Simulator. A really awesome. Hello, game. folks. This is the Gamer Nerd, and welcome to my commentary on mode, PC Building Simulator PC building episodes one and two, mode and a the theatrical edition of Let's episode two. Game, shall we? I will be doing the director's cut version. All right, here we go. In Share Factory, awesome. which I will get to later. So stay tuned for that. I got this game, Trainson World, and a Car Mechanic Simulator. On yeah, Christmas. loading the screens are kind of so long. This should be pretty awful. Awesome. To begin, go, go to your PC by the doorway and open the mail program, program on your desktop. desktop. You've got okay, mail. Okay, so when you first start off, you have fifteen dollars right. of debt in your bank it's account. For email. You'll see why when you open up right. your first email. Hey, thanks. Thanks for taking okay, a so shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. You a inherit a struggling company from Uncle well, Tim, and there's no money in the bank account. who had to the borrow fifteen dollars for fuel. So make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. Which is a shame. Remember to use your thermal paste and please. Also, PC, remembering to use your. Your thermal paste when you put the so CPU in is a good idea. Your company now, so run it how you see fit. Never forget this stuff. Do than I did. Absolutely don't ever forget it. P.S. I had to borrow 15 It's very important. Fuel. You know how it is. Yeah, I do, buddy. Yeah, I do. Now, the first job is a very All simple right. one and is just Hi, software related. I hope you can help me. Basically, you have to install a virus and scanner and, and remove viruses. Do we have a virus? Which Thanks. should be pretty yeah. simple enough. All right, so we're gonna go to this guy's computer, pick up his PC, and then start working on it. For this job, I do apologize for the artifact mess Press there. The right arrow the cable I was the downloading this video to YouTube and, and the back of the PC. Huh. Right. Just a shame that it had to end up like this. Connect the mouse. Really, just why? Connect their HDMI port, and and I don't know why power. the now you need to put video had to be so compressed heavily when downloading and put the into or the you know Movie Maker. It was incredibly slow go. Alrighty then. I probably should have kept those files in. Now press the triangle or the power button. Done the whole share factory thing with them. Click on the monitor. Sure, it may have given me less time to do it, but at least it worked properly, right. and at least the raw files were the still there when you rendered them, or what you edited was there when you rendered it. And don't forget to restart the PC after it's been installed. Okay, so. We go to our add and move programs and put in the virus scanner. It's all that. Which took quite a while to load well, on our well, client's computer. Process. Which is <coughs> quite understandable. Slightly quicker than I expected, so. Since, you know. Loading is like but the mouse constantly drifts. Anyway, once you start to disguise computer. Alright. Just click on the virus so scan and then start, start scanning. scanning. Wow, Makes sense, this right? Is pretty fast. And then we got and files, files found. And, and thankfully, I removed all the viruses from the PC. You removed the viruses. And it's ready to be returned to the, the PC client. Ready to be returned to the client. Pick the PC you up. You know, you can make good money with the um, PC repair. Okay, but first we need to shut it down. Basically install a virus. Sometimes you basically install a virus scanner. You'll lose your data. Scan for viruses and clear. That's a hundred dollars. Oh, looks like I got a hundred dollars. Pretty much charging a hundred dollars for labor. Would, would be good for your first email. Actually. All right, I'll come back tomorrow. Let's shut I down. I then click on shut down. Then go to turn off the lights. Ooh. 
makes it look pretty dark, okay, but here you can end your day in advance still you gotta remember to turn off the lights. Active jobs, but normally it's worth checking Otherwise, you'll be paying a lot more for electricity. All right. And you have to pay Nothing yet. your so utility bill on the 10th January day of every month and the rent on the 25th day of every month. Alright, let's go to work. That is, until you own the company, and you can change the name and all that. And let's just so we turn on our PC, and what do we find but more email? Let's check the email. Ooh, got a reply from okay, G7, so G Auburn, and someone's graphics card is fried. I just want Got to a say good email from Gary. It's been booting faster than it has in years. I didn't None of the Garys we know, though. Away. But like still. A good hand, though. Thanks yeah. Again, Gary. Ooh, Gary. You are a great guy. Great to see that the building is in good Thanks. hands. Queen Brittany. Hi, my graphics this guy has got labor $200, $260 according to the game, and a budget of $300. I wonder if that's US dollars or Canadian dollars. Because I think the labor was spelled with a U on the receipt. When it's not spelled with a U in the United States. This guy needs okay, more space so. on his computer. Alright, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install so a file? This guy is looking for a 500 gigabyte, gigabyte hard drive. I'll bring it around to his first scene. And Thank he has $50 for so a $50 more pony easy store 500 gigabyte. We'll accept that job. Or better. Another virus scan and cleaning out dust. On this one, we have to remove viruses and clean out dust. I'll deal with that. And in the beginning, the customers will know exactly what's wrong with the PC and help you find out what it is. Oops. But a little later in the game, Almost you'll forgot. find out that <clears throat> no, the customer doesn't Gotta always know what's wrong with the PC. Sometimes you'll have to get certain keep of minds or whatnot. $50 and one time when I shut down my computer, I forgot that more Tony, easy the first time I shut down my computer, I forgot there were for parts that needed to be ordered. We'll give them Pretty strange, isn't it? What was the budget again? $300? And the email said oh, that bad. I needed a Sean G. GeForce GTS game. So I gave him the XL, which is pretty good. All right, that's two things. All right, use the delivery options to choose an investor secret component. I agree that it's often better to pay the fast delivery than wait days to receive things. All righty then. Let's buy the now. Oh, and it looks like I got an email. Now, when it comes to building a PC, it's always a good idea to pay for the faster Mega delivery Corp option. Bank. How nice. Makes absolutely oh. perfect sense. $1,000 overdraft limit. Okay, then. So, I discarded that notice from Megacorp Banking. That old generic wallpaper just isn't... And switched up my wallpaper. This yeah, might be a good time to explain that, that pretty awesome. switching up your wallpaper on the computer in PC Building Simulator kind of gives your desktop that personal touch, you know? Turn off the lights. A very nice personal touch. Let's see what I've got for Jim. And you know what I liked about that dog and the cat the living together? PCs wallpaper. That is a sign of there we go. bonding together. The customer's PC is here. Pick it up with Square and take it to your workbench. A work sign that even the most bitter right, of rivals, and my new parts have arrived. like the dog and cat, the boxes to put them in your inventory. Okay. can be the best of friends. Turn the lights. 
collect so I pick up my parts and we're good let's see which PC should we do first ah and the first thing the I do one. is scan this guy's computer Press for the viruses and get the compressed air from your tools you can use it on the PC compressed air com the tool from my toolkit all right after all that unscrewing, which is kind of necessary, I'll tell you right. that. Remove the casing here. Now, normally to be authentic, I would remove both parts of the case. But... And I will say, I probably should have fast-forwarded anyway. through that stuff. Because it was... Sometimes... I upload the footage raw. Oh, looking good. Got that taken care of. And I do apologize for the huge mess of pixels. We can put the side panel back. And problematic on. video and whatnot. But that's what you get when you download videos off of YouTube to put a commentary okay. over them. USB drive. Put that in there. You get junk like this. And then we're gonna. Well, I don't know. Finagle the, the cables through a bit. Yeah. To get them all properly connected. Put the HDMI in there. You don't forget that, do you? Have you ever forgotten the HDMI and. Let's power this baby all on. All that sort of stuff. It just. <coughs> Painted, to say the least. We're doing pretty good so far. Got to get the virus scanner. And yes, it does kind of take a while to load the virus scanner. Hey, guys, got a nice. Unless you have a though. super high-end PC with all the latest trimmings and whatnot, then it's a really quick and easy process. You don't have to worry about that. On the virus scanner, scanning four hundred infected files. I'm going to clean those clean the files. Computers protected, and we can shut down. Take it to the delivery area. Bam. Up next, we're going to replace this guy's now graphics we need to card. Fix this guy's graphics card. Since it's probably burned out on him. Let's work on this PC. Alrighty then. And what do you know? In order to remove... Gotta to unlock the PC lock. In order to replace the graphics card, you need to remove the PCI lock, then remove the graphics card. Alright. Make sure you check fix... So we got him a fresh... PC. Sean G4 is GTX Gamer XL to replace an old hunk of junk that was a broken gamer one before. Now we go into PC parts, put the side paneling back on. Ooh, can't forget about our cables, can we? Right. I'll admit sometimes it does take a while to get things right. The reason right. I don't have any music running is because I think playing music would be a copyright infringement and I don't want to do copyright infringement. Oh yeah. Looking mighty fine. Looks like we can shut down since good. everything is pretty good. And so. And for a while there, I checked the budget to make sure it was in oh, line with what wait, the customer wanted. I should turn on my computer too. And for a while, you do get things that are exactly within the customer's budget. And up next. We need to and sometimes, this guy's computer. 
you'll have to get things that the customer didn't request he wants more space but are necessary anyway because like a good question customer requested g boys the team team group but that's too expensive and you have to Install. go with another branding instead you're ding the star on your five star rating unfortunately open the drive bay install the hard drive Close I had to open bay. up the drive bay somehow. Connect the wiring. And then connect the hard disk drive over. And done. Which is actually pretty cool. Now all we need to do is reinstall the side panel. And get all the PC parts back in. It's actually a pretty good experience. Oops. Almost got me. And the last thing we need to do, gotta, to do, you guessed it, is connect the cable. Gotta attach the cables first. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here. I hope one day I can buy but the um, upgrade that allows. I me actually allow did do a lot of work building this PC. And I should be good. Thanks for good. Learning nice experience. Computer. Whole learning tool about it. We got everything working. So good. They even have a tutorial on how to build a PC. Called Any How to Build PC as a separate mode of the game. Alright, good. Right. Now that we've done all our tasks for the day. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of one of my favorite parts about doing this job is collecting the money, money from our too. jobs. Nice. And it's well worth it to see how many people enjoy our hey, business, you know? At level 3 you get access to Bongo, hey, which is pretty good. Auto tool it's like this review site for computers and computer techs. Let's see I, if I have enough money to install it. And for a while it was being dinged with one star $1, rating after one star rating. Oh man. It was and I only have six that bad. Oh well. I think I'll get it some other time. And then I shut down the computer. And turn off the Switching light. the lights off. And I'll leave for the day. And so I go ahead and end the day. Let's go to work. Turn the lights on. Turn the computer Switch on. on the PC. Let's see what we got. And yes, there are more. Here. I played around with the free, the free build feature. It's pretty awesome to see that you're getting clients that will write to you via right, email in this day and age, right? where everyone's on my like Twitter on. and Facebook and Instagram and all those other things. My brother has team group and his PC. He says they're the best. The Vince looks a little yeah. flawed. Is that okay? The send for my phone we'll signature. That That's the same signature I use, oh, except it says send for my this iPhone. This guy borrowed his mom's brand new PC and click on something he shouldn't have. All right. And it's riddled with viruses, so we gotta take care of that. After accepting these jobs, oh, a hot and broken PC too. I know that they have limited budgets now. Out. So good thing. A ten dollar budget for that. a cooling fan. Okay, and sixteen gigabytes, gigabytes of RAM right. for okay. uh, a daughter's PC. So. Wow, I wonder if she's going off to college or something. Cause so, for I can understand we'll that RAM. any parent whose kid is going off to college is gonna need a computer. With a daughter with probably a lot of RAM. So I added four of the more Tonys. The four gigabyte ones. 
and I think well, the other guy I'm gonna get yeah him, one like team group T force type team style group. of ram to the other person with a guy who needs a CPU cooling. And for CPU cooling, I went with more Tony Thermal 100. Possible, so the $10 one should suffice. And yeah, more Tony, while it is a fictional brand, has shown to be a pretty good brand. Next and so delivery. I got next day delivery on all of them. There was. There were only two people who needed right, needed RAM. I'm gonna buy these components. So, next Should day delivery this? seemed like the best option to go All right, with. Alright then. So, let's oh. see what else I do. Yeah, right. I checked my email, which is pretty Probably good. Probably should discard those old messages. Discarded old jobs, which actually makes sense when when you finish a job. The best thing to do and is discard discard done. the email that so, came with it, because nobody likes to close up. Don't check to see if anything we have to be ordered. For no reason we'll the next day, so yeah, we do. And I even check the calendar for what's coming the next day. Switch off the lights. Yeah. Pretty average. Go for the next pretty day, and day we will be like there. It's gonna work. For a PC oh, tech right. employee. Gonna switch on or the someone first. working in the PC repair business. Four RAM, four, five RAM sticks. And a more Tony. Air hopefully thing. one day you'll be hiring helpers and. All right. So, Hopefully one day you'll have the option to hire helpers and whatnot. Let's start with a scan of this guy's PC. Because right now... Whoa! You're the only one taking care of this place. Free workbench! Until your uncle gets back. Nice! That is, if he ever gets back. Alright then. And sometimes I wonder... Is there an ending to these simulator games? Let's do our usual. If so, that is understandably that awesome. Thing, that and thing. if not, well, that's good too that because. Thing. And that thing. Who doesn't want to live their life being a train. <coughs> train. Train conductor oh, or train yeah. engineer or train driver, however they call it. That would be pretty awesome. I almost forgot that I had to turn on my computer there to check my email. And that, my friend, as they say, is while this is running. Oh, right. Wow, I got more jobs to do? That's pretty awesome. And clean out viruses. And if your under budget account goes over three thousand dollars, guess what? Your account your account gets frozen, which means you have to sell off some of your inventory in order to put some money back in order to unfreeze the account. Yeah, I know. I found that that the hard way when I was playing the Switch version of this game. Yeah. And truth be told, the Switch version only has two workbenches. The third workbench is filled up with like an like a Super awesome NES game, game or game a TV and a game console of some sort. Like a Super NES like of some sort. You're actually taking care of someone else. I guess they had to block out that third um which I will admit workbench there as there was not cool. enough space to have all three workbenches available at the same time. 16 gigabytes of RAM. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Well, so far so good. Uh, in order we have the whole RAM the thing to deal with right now. You need to open both sides. And guess what? 
in the second episode of this video, in this video, I forgot to say, which means, guess what? I had to do all these computers again. Oh. You know, sometimes, you know, RAM is pretty easy to insert, but people, I don't know how people do it, but RAM being the easiest thing to insert, and yet they still mess it up. You had one job, people. One job. And Mortoni is usually the pretty cheap option. So. Anyhow. That, that. The best part in PC building is when you turn on the computer Graphics after card. checking everything oh, you yeah. wanted. This cool, baby. And just turning on the computer for the first time oh. and. It works in wonderful. Look at that. She works perfectly. And let's see what the email said about the Clubber Dollars PC. Alright. Looks like I got it. After that, I switch off the daughter's new PC. Alright. And move that over. Now I need to fix this guy. Now I need to clear out dust and remove viruses somehow. Interestingly, I have a compressed air tool that I was reminded of a while back. Or that I learned about a while back. And it actually helped pretty well. Wait, did I say clean out the dust and remove the viruses? I mean... Clean out the dust and replace the cooling. I think I had to reapply the um, paste thing. And yeah, the broken Mortoni Thermal, I think, had to be sold off. Plug in all these cables. Unless. I wonder if I still have that in my inventory. And I'll have to double check later. And there. Wow, that, that fan seems to run quite well. Let's see if it's working. There it is! Anywho, let's get that side panel back on. Hallelujah! We got everything back on track, so. Let's pick up the PC. Let's drop this off. Put there. And this other one needs dust clearing out and 16 gigabytes of RAM, or so I presume. Alright. Guys, mm -hmm. looking for an upgrade. Yeah, this is when I check the email there. And then I collect the money from the virus oh, yeah. kid. Any parts available? And collect my money from all the other jobs. I do. From where I left it off. Oh yeah, I got a new trophy. Back in the black. It should be obvious to you in the next part what happens. All right. When this is done, we will be going on to the next part. And I will show you what happens when you forget to manually save as well as use the autosave. All right. 
So we're getting the dust out, dust out, getting the compressed air to dust out this computer. Now the problem is not having a checklist on the main hidden task is you don't know whether or not you did the best thing. Pretty sure I got all the dust down. I think you should be able to see the task that were hidden, the hidden task when you finished doing them. Right. At least the hidden task, and, and not when you, and not you just when you collect the money, which I think would be pretty helpful. I got my new team group oh, yeah. thing in there. And I need to put the PC part yeah, back yeah. in. Yeah, you can imagine my frustration with how not also manually saving oh, right. could Cable, be a problem. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next part. Does he need a virus cleaning? I'll double check that. You know what's really cool? I like the little details in this game that are shown on the PS4, but not on the Switch version. Like the little light on the um, USB stick. That's something you don't see every day. Now it's game for viruses. Nothing. And we're good, Sunny Jim. Pick this bad boy up. Collect our payment. And we are good. Now, I'm going to leave this here for right now. I want to try out some new things in a little later, so. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gamer Nerd, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Hello, folks. This is Gamer Nerd, and welcome back to another episode of PC Going Freelance. Hello folks, welcome back to my commentary on PC Building Simulator. This next bit of video shows what happens when you don't save manually as well as autosave. Yeah, this can happen. Yeah, that face when you accidentally load an auto save, it's just like, ah, seriously. And why am I trying to do this in the in the dark? Really? And then I switch on the PC. Yeah. Now this, this part of part two, like, how did I miss how there was echo in the video? How did I just miss that?
Maybe I didn't have my headphones plugged into my VR headset, but I don't know. And for some reason, my PS4 controllers, my thingy, somehow keeps dropping out. Maybe I need to get a Turtle Beach headset or whatever. No, something that can get that microphone problem fixed. Really? I don't know how long I've had the um, PS4 controller and mic on it is burnt out. I mean, come on. Anyhow, the reason I I can I can understand how why I didn't say and had to redo all this again. And you could tell I was pretty annoyed by that part. And I'm just pretty annoyed, very annoyed, that I didn't manually save as well as auto save. Ah, why did I do this? Why did I forget this? Okay. Now I plug the whole thing in and see if it works. And if it does, good. Good, and if it does... Yeah, sometimes have to wonder, what's wrong with it? Turn on the power. Don't you just hate it? Doing testing, testing, see. And I know you want to try to do your best, and more often than not, you fail, 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 and fail. Anyhow, we're pretty much going through all the motions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Possibly having the worst experience of auto save in your life. So you have to redo everything you did before. And it's like everything you did never even happened, and oh my lord! You don't know the pain until you realize what the heck is wrong. We have to get this guy on a virus scanner again, like we did before. So now I'm taking the opportunity to manually save and not just auto save, which actually helps matters. Also, I've been doing pretty good with scanning lately. You know, like scanning, scanning for viruses. And cleaning them. Let's see. This guy needed dust clearing out in his air cooler. But 
not this virus clean. My bad. I found the right air to move this guy one. First, we need to clean up stuff. And so I'm spraying me hole. Thing there. And well, uh, yeah. Makes sense to get it sprayed. Now, we need to replace the air cooler. Okay, got the new thermal cooler installed. So you connect it. And then connect the PC up. Also need to connect all the cables. And then boot up the bang thing. I don't know why I'm booting with the case open. Maybe it's the test to see if the cooling fan works. I don't know. But it's working properly right now. So, we can shut down the PC and get this PC back to his client. Because, yeah, clients do love a good PC. She's probably going to take PC with her to college. And at level 5, she start getting orders to build new PCs. I know, because I played the Switch version. The only reason I got the Switch version was because it was the first version I ever got of this game. Just like the Switch version was the first version I ever got of Sega Genesis Classics. And it's not to be able to play it on the go. That wasn't the reason I wanted to, to buy the Switch version. I bought the Switch version to give me something to play until I got a VR headset and a PS4 ver copy of the, uh, of the Sega Genesis Classics, because now that it comes with VR support, what excuse is there not to play the PS4 over the Switch version? And yes, the Switch versions of games like PC Building Simulator definitely has some downgrades. And depending on your game, the downgrade may not be as significant good. or they may be very significant like for example like in Spyro the Dragon it may not have the ability to have subtitles in the Switch version because where would you put the text on when you're playing in handheld? certainly not on the bottom of the screen if you're going to have text in on the Switch version, it may as well cover up the whole screen. What do you think? To anyone who's ever played Spyro the Dragon Switch, what are your thoughts on its graphical capability? Specifically, frame rate. Are you getting like a consistent 60 frames a second or 
Is he constantly dropping frames and ramping back up? And was the frame rate constantly ramping up and down? And you're getting lag everywhere. I think the latter experience may be possible on the Switch version. I don't know about the Xbox One version, if it has lag introduced, but I can I can almost say for certain that if you're trying to port a, a game meant for the PS4 over to the Switch, there's some information is going to be lost. For example, like certain textures that are supposed to shine down for instance and a few other things and yes I am rambling about Spyro the Dragon being on the Switch and honestly Crash and Spyro games were not meant to be played on the Switch or at least some of the, some of the Spyro games weren't. At least that I know of. And unfortunately, you can't race in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled without having to buy Wumpa Coins. And yes, that's even with the tons of Wumpa Coins thing in the single player races and adventure mode and whatnot. You cannot ignore in app purchases or even play the game using in app purchases. There are some games, for me at least, which are unplayable due to in app purchases. Like I can't play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel without buying the Wumpa Coin. It's like darn near impossible in order. It's like darn near impossible to play without purchasing Wumpa Coins. You know, if if EA made the Crash and Spiral game, they would probably come up very, very glitchy, and with an extremely low frame rate, with so much graphical capability sucked into them that it brings any powerful system down to its knees. Take a look at EA's Apex Legends. It's full of in-app purchases that you would not want to shell out money for. Now, I don't mind EA when they produce good, good stuff like Burnout, Paradise Remastered. That is a good game by EA. The, the only bad part about EA is their money-grubbing microtransactions. And I'm not just, and I'm not just pinning the blame on EA for microtransactions. Activision, Ubisoft. For around $880. I'm calling all three of you guys out. Money grubby microtransactions are really anti consumers. Can actually, can actually be and so are loot boxes. I, I even mentioned this in, in my little rant about loot boxes. Go watch that video if you're interested. And honestly, there are video game mechanics that are very, very hated. There, there are video game mechanics that can be ignored with a lot of effort. And then there are video game mechanics like the microtransactions, which for some people make the game unplayable. Yes, you heard me right. Unplayable. P 
people who don't want to support Activision consider playing the game as supporting Activision. Yes. I went there. And yes, this even affects titles before it. And when porting the flight scenes, they even ported the dogfight controls. And if they had their way, if they had their way, they would have ported the time limit, the original time limits. So you would have been forced to have an even number of seconds. Like, starts at 30 seconds, then 28 seconds, then 25 seconds, then 27 seconds. And you only get a certain number of seconds added on your score, and it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. In, and, in, and in cases where you have to do... And you... And, and if EA did the, did the flight levels through the game, you can bet that your gems, that if you collect them, probably aren't going to be saved until you complete the entire level. You can imagine how frustrated some people get. Like, frustrated to the point where they flip the bird, walk out, make a rage face on camera, drop an F-bomb, and so much more. And just really, really. Do they have to go there? Do they have to go there? Just... Huh. Sorry. Sorry, I'm really in... I'm sorry, I'm really in bad mood over this, but still. At least Claudio Kiss, Dovetail Games, and all those other indie companies are doing right by us. At least we're getting good games, like Farming Simulator and Ghost Simulator, which I think is pretty funny, to tell you the truth. Whoever made that game, you've got a good sense of humor going on. Now, if you could all also make some more serious games, that would be awesome as well. But I understand your bread and butter is like the Ghost Simulator thing, which, you know, it's worthy of... Uh, Jesus. But what's worthy of haze is when is when computers are running graphical capabilities in the single digits. You heard me right, the single digits. And I do mean that. Well worthy of being here. Okay, so at least at least the um, CPU section's working out great. Got some good going on here. Okay, so. Now I'm going to end this commentary off now. Anyhow. A little more to say about... about video. Video is pretty awesome. And well worth the list. In, in speaking of videos, one of my friends, Brandon Davis, I think, would have made a great candidate for YouTube. 
because he's a pretty awesome guy. Okay, so... Where was it? Oh yeah, computer simulators. Heh. <laughs> anyway, sorry for rambling on like that. It's just... There has been a lot going on. And I do mean a lot going on. And for this one, I'm probably going to do a lot of them. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, check out some of my other videos. Leave a nice comment on them. Whatever you want to do. And it's just well worth your time, well worth the effort, and well worth listening to my rambling voice because youtubers are not in a perfect position right now the algorithm is screwing them over big time yes i do mean big time being screwed over by corporate industries and whatnot back then youtube was like if you were an indie creator, you didn't have to worry about any problem. Nowadays, you can't make it unless you're like some sort of corporate company. I don't know. Okay, sorry for the um, moment of dead air, but still, well worth it. Let's get this guy's Just, back in the place. I, at least I think it's well worth it. It's not now, as for crash and spike, now, I support Crash and Spyro, the originals, specifically the originals. You know, the ones made by Naughty Dog and Insomniac Games, yeah, those guys. Insomniac and Naughty Dog did a better job on, Cra on Spyro and Crash respectively than Activision could ever do. And hell, no in-app purchases. That's a lot better than the remakes I'm seeing today with a bunch of in-app purchases and all that garbage and whatnot. It's just infuriating to say the least. But that's the world we live in today. <sighs> in-app purchases, draining on your credit card account. It's just, it's just nuts. In app purchases, when they're done right, earn a win from me. However, when they're done purely to make money, they can go screw themselves. I don't care if you're a guy who supports whatever company that the games, that, that whatever game the companies make, do not support bad anti-consumerist practices do not and if and yes playing the game will count as supporting anti-consumerist practices at least for me I don't know about you but if anyone out there is still playing Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, don't. The in app purchases will screw you over in your bank account. And the decals? Oh, you may think the decals are worth something, but they're actually pretty worthless. And they can go die in a fire. Just keep your stock card, you'll be better off if you do. That's what I'm 
And when they say purchases are purely for, you know, purchases are purely cosmetic, then you find out there's a gun that performs way better than the than your default gun, and you have to pay an in-app purchase to get it. Ugh, it's just mind-boggling in blood pressure raising that you have to do this. Anyway, thank you for listening to my rambling and sticking around with me until the very end. We've almost got three minutes left in this conversation. I just want to say a big, big thank you for listening to my rambling. And I do mean that. In a big way, you listening to my rambling is you is you thanking me for what you've done as YouTube watchers and I do mean that a lot alright so I think that's about it. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Gamer Nerd. I will see you in my next video. After this one. Peace out everyone. And enjoy the rest of the video. Looks like I'm gonna need to buy that um, app there. Mongo for 300. And will it run for 200? Because I might need that one later. Oh, and don't forget. Installing Bongo on there now. Three thousand eight hundred fifty nine on Time Spy Extreme on this guy's computer. Pretty awesome. Oh, let's put this computer down. Go check our email. And we're 
good. It gave us a five star rating. That's the greatest five star rating I've ever seen. And so we don't forget, let's save. Say good. Anyway, I'm going to leave this there for the sake of not going over the time limit, and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Gamer Nerd, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.